guess who finally finished a non-fiction book me y'all i'm so excited about it i absolutely loved it and i cannot wait to talk to y'all about it stay tuned welcome back to books with kimberly do not forget to like comment share my channel and subscribe let's get right into it today i am talking about the non-fiction book that i have read after years of like not reading non-fiction because i think it's like boring and you know there's nobody really interesting that i really want to read their memoir i would rather watch a biopic on tv so <laughs> This was really interesting that I actually finished this book. And the book I am talking about is The Sisters Are All Right, Changing the Broken Narrative of Black Women in America by Tamara Winfrey Harris. This book was absolutely amazing. It was a short read. I listened to some parts of it. I read some parts of it because I actually wanted to take notes. I felt like this was the right nonfiction book for me because I could relate to so many parts of it. Tamara starts this book off with just talking about how much she loves black women. She loves the divine nine black women. She loved the women who work here, the women who are mothers, the women who are this, and it just felt like a hug. And it felt very inviting. Like she was inviting me as a black woman to read this book and to find myself in this book and some of those narratives that do plague me in my day to day. Some of the things that she talked about in this book was the broken narrative of black women and how there are some stereotypes. I think she went over four or five stereotypes that really plague how people look at black women and these narratives they are what people use to keep black women down in america it's the reason why some of us can't get corporate jobs or why we are stereotyped as like ghetto booty shaking women who can't get a job uneducated nobody wants us we're forever single single baby mamas like all of these negative narratives are because of these stereotypes that are from years ago that are still plaguing us. The world won't have enough compassion for black women to let go of these stereotypes. One of the stereotypes is the mammy, which a lot of you probably have seen the movie Gone with the Wind and where there is this character, she's a plus size, very dark skin with Afro features black woman who is subservient to white people. She's very obedient and loyal to taking care of the white people. Tamara goes on to say like, this is why people do not see black women as attractive in this country and why it's been so hard for us to break into the beauty industry is because the beauty industry sees this skinny, blue eyed, blonde hair, white girl as the standard of beauty and they see black women as the mammy character. She also talks about Sapphire, who is seen as this strong black woman who is feisty and that's where the stereotype of angry black woman comes from. There's the Jezebel who she's very overly sexualized and she uses her sexuality to lure men and this is where a lot of black women get a lot of flack. Whatever we wear, we get labeled as negative characteristics because of what we're wearing. Our bodies are constantly being policed. This is because of that stereotype of the Jezebel. There's also the matriarch of the family who had to really step in and really lead the family in a way. And because black women have had to step up and lead their families, that's where this narrative of the strong black woman comes from. And why so many black women are single is because they're trying to lead the black family and just a lot of these narratives. And the book goes on to talk about how black men are just as single as black women, but of course black women are the ones who are constantly told to change. And I think that's what I, I really related to so much in this book is I do feel like the media, a lot of these books, a lot of the talks, 
everything is about what black women need to change, what black women aren't doing to attract men, what black women aren't doing to get these high paying jobs, how we need to change our attitudes, the way we dress, the way we walk. And those messages, if you aren't, you know, the like, I don't give a what, I don't care. If you don't have that kind of personality, those critiques can really change the way you look at yourself and cause you to look at yourself in a very negative light. If you, you know, put on those words and are always trying to change yourself. And I know me as a plus size woman, I always feel like there's a lot of pressure to change this about myself, you know, lose weight, do this, do that. And I love that Tamara, she actually interviewed women who are plus size. And so I definitely felt seen in this book. She also talks about respectability politics. She talks about black women and their hair and how we've grown to really love and embrace our natural hair. She just talks about so many topics. Motherhood, the strong black woman, how black women have this pressure to always be strong. Sometimes we don't want to be strong, have to be strong all the time. I absolutely love this book and I just really feel like every black woman out there, and even if you are not a black woman, read this book to see just what we go through and why we have black girl magic as a campaign, melanin, black women, all of these, you know, support black women, why we have all of these hashtags while we're constantly trying to get people to see us for who we are and that we're not a monolith, it's because of these stereotypes. It's because of how the media views us and how the media likes to see us and portray us and the blame that they put on us. And I love this book. It's called The Sisters Are All Right. And at the end of the day, black women are all right because we know how to survive. She says that we know how to survive, hence we are all right. I like that and it gives me some gratitude to look over my life and say that I have God and I have everything I need and I have my family and I am all right. So thank you all for watching another Books with Kimberly video. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe.